we can hear from Sharon Davies now. Sharon, clearly very, very dedicated. Was it worth all that hard work? Oh, awesome as a dedicated. You know, you have to work incredibly hard. And obviously Great Britain at the moment are, have worked very hard and, and they're getting all of the re rewards from what they've done. But nice to see my mum. <laughs> <laughs> there's dedication, Sharon, and then there's dedication. I mean, you swam with a broken arm with a plastic bag over your arm. That is impressive. <laughs> You're a parent yourself. How hard is it to be a supportive parent but not a pushy parent? There is a fine line between the two, obviously. Um, you know, you've got to make sure that you support properly. I've got uh, a daughter that does track and field, and there's days when she's really down and she needs to be encouraged to go to training, and other days when she's full of life and she'll take herself there. But, oh, I don't know. That's a hard question to answer, Helen. I mean, my parents did a great job. It's very different nowadays. The support that our athletes get, both financially and emotionally and uh, psychologically and physically, is absolutely brilliant. I'd give anything to be in the water swimming now with them. <laughs> I feel like you adopt a bit of a maternal role on the side of that pool. What do you say to the swimmers, <laughs> you know, on the moments when they maybe aren't having a great time? How do you encourage yeah. them to get back in the pool? You know, maybe something that parents can say to their kids who don't want to train one day. Um, yeah, I, do, I think sometimes my spot is, you know, my loyalties are to the swimmers, you know, and I know how hard they work and I want them to achieve success. And it's lovely that I can share those moments with them. I mean, one of my favorite moments is sharing that moment with Becky when she won her gold medals in Beijing. Uh, you can see them all doing their warm dance behind me and when they're dying to go and get their warm dance though because I know that their coaches are chomping at the bit I'm often thinking well I need to get them off I need to get them off but uh, it's a, a great treat to be here still. Well enjoy Sharon thank you very much keep up the good work and we'll hear from you oh bless you Matt Foster. I thought he was crying, but he was actually sneezing. <laughs> right, James Guy now goes for Team GB in the 400 metre freestyle. He qualified second fastest, so in theory, he is within touching distance of a medal. We caught up with him ahead of the championships.